Johnson. New Zealand and the new half-back pairing and veterans Johnson and Mottram are restored to the front row. Record. Long again towards Michael Jones, spring heel, but it's Lippmann, in fact, who gets that ball for the United States. And once again, that's created a really good position here for the United States. John Limpen, in fact, at the back of the line-out. So, Gareth Chilcott, how happy do you think the New Zealanders will be with their performance? Not a very good one that time, though, as Lippmann sets it up. Tackled by Wetton, but possession should come to the United States. Here he comes then from Pitcock to O'Brien. That again is a good kick. Outside the 22, as Williams goes up for it, taps it back well on his own. The 1 2. Preston the pass for Tuigamala Shorty. Understand now looking to link Michael Jones is there. The interception though by Burke Lip and the flanker coming in to aid him also. And back on the United States side, Jones in fact, who gets it down. Kristen to McCarhill. Bit of misunderstanding again as Tui Gamala came charging in there from the blind side. But the ball is with the United States if Pitcock can get it away. Blacks again create the platform for them to clear their lines. Preston under quite some tremendous pressure there from Sean Lippman. Does very well to get his kick away. United States look powerful at this stage of the game. It is indeed. They've certainly got in about the New Zealanders, the up and unders, the hard tackling. A tackle, but getting aid there. Good support from Alan Wetton. The shortened line and tidy ball. Lippman trying to tidy up there for the USA. The Americans are very gutsy performance. <laughs> to Lippmann. That was a good period of play, play from America. They're really getting into this game now. That was a just reward, a penalty for that period of play where they just had England making mistakes and England need to really tighten it up a little bit now and, and, and get back and put the Americans under a bit more pressure. Side. So England control it. Against seven, which is Halliday back inside to Reese. I think the Americans read that one. Hill, Andrew, Andrew, a run himself. Enveloped though. And America's Richards. Basketball play from England. This is Reese. and uh, give, give America the chance to come back into their half. Well, look at that possession there again from the first half. England 50%, the United States 50%. So it's not been plain sailing for England. O'Brien gets a hand to it. As back goes Halliday, and De Jong comes in for America, and that's Lippmann. Lippmann, this is O'Brien. Oh, there's a huge gap back there. Nobody's there. And Carling has to go back. The captain today, 29 caps. That's one at the back by Ridnall, though. the Americans have the ball. De Jong, who's playing it outside half now. And Williams, outside him. Is Nelson to score? Nelson scores for the United States. 
powering his way through the middle and then just spinning it wide. And they're queuing up to score at Twickenham. Well, a beautifully worked try from Ray Nelson. Here we go again from the front angle. That's Gary Hine coming in from the other wing, making an extra, extra man. And Ray Nelson from fullback scores quite easily. I think we've got to be impressed with the Americans' commitment and they've decided to put up a fight. Well taken by Swords, the American captain. And a good drive. It's hands to it, Hill, Andrew, Carling, Halliday. Halliday is scrapped by Lippmann. penalised for handling that on the floor. The ball comes out, Hill has a little snipe himself. The fence is there. And if he can stay on his feet, can England push him back? Rob Andrew tries to dig it out, and England get the scrum put in. He's back in the scrum. Skinner stands off to receive that ball from Richards and the tackle from Littman. Inside to Reese. Thrown over by Littman. The Americans, this is Ridnum. De Jong, Littman, O'Brien, Williams. Nelson he passes it long to Hodgkinson. This is Skinner. Skinner. Good tackle from Lippmann. For Halliday to chase. Reese. Andrew. Bundled over. 